you once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Wow, that actually, to me, I mean, it's obviously going to sound a little bit different to me, because it's coming out of my throat, but the, to me, that actually did sound kind of like the Star Fox. Star Fox. <laughs> Not Star Fox. Star Fox. The Star Fox, good luck. Probably hasn't been working for some time. I don't know why I'm checking this area, because I know there's nothing here. Come on, Claire, let's run right on by. Actually, should I probably cut? And did I introduce the episode? No, I didn't introduce the episode, so I can cut as much as I want to. <laughs> get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. That didn't happen. And with the magic of cutting, it never will have! Okay. Hopefully... Hopefully I left in that hole with the magic of cutting, it never will have joke. Now I have to. <laughs> so, yeah, good on you, Alex. Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio X Fu. And last episode, I died. No, I didn't die. I came out of a couple of fights really badly off. Uh, so this time, instead of, well, as you can tell, I'm back a save, I decided that instead of going, running pell-mell into, uh, a hallway full of zombies, instead, well, first I'm gonna check this guy, because I mean, he's got handgun ammo, he's got handgun ammo. I'd be crazy not to. Instead of running pell-mell into that hallway full of the zombies and the dying and all that, I'm going to take this valve handle, and I think I've got a couple of liquors to pay a visit. Because I feel like we're going to have an easier time fighting them than fighting a room full of zombies that are standing right next to me when I go into that room full of zombies, so they're gonna start attacking me right away. Also, I'm gonna try to get back into the... It's not the chief's office, because well, that's where we're going, but I'm gonna try to get into the uh, office that's set on by its own. Oh, wrong one. I'm gonna check. Wrong one as well. Am I set to... Yes, I am set to auto-aim. No, no, I wanna go out. Four. There we go. I think you're still alive, but I'm not sure. I think if I leave them on the ground long enough, they also bleed out or what. Not sure, I'm just... I'm guessing. Uh, I'm gonna take out this guy, I guess. <laughs> oh, looks like somebody's caught on there, buddy. Oh, he's up. I think I'm gonna actually slow down a bit more with uh, Claire's story, just because I seem to be... Well, I seem to be running in myself headfirst into a bunch of sticky situations. Was it someone who said you can check the bodies of enemies and they might have ammo? Well, they didn't. There we go. Four shots and you're down. And are you bleeding? No, so you're gonna get up in a second. There you go. Nope. Is it... There we go. It's uh, L1 to change your target. I have learned. I am getting smarter. I am getting... Well, I'm getting faster because I'm Claire. I th Someone said that I don't think they move faster, but... Maybe they don't. Maybe she doesn't. And they were talking about the female Resident Evil characters having less health. Maybe she doesn't move faster. It just seems to me that she does. There we go. Any ammo on you? Does not seem like it. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the person was only saying... Oh! Ink ribbons. There we go. Thought there was something on that desk. I couldn't be sure. Good thing I looked. 
anything on these desks. Apparently, I missed something. And I was hoping it was in this room, because I'm going to take a while to get back to the other rooms that we were in. Go around. Unless it's in that this office right here. I'm nodding my head towards it, but obviously you can't see that. Uh, handgun bullets on the desk. Yep. Uh, but I'm hoping... What is this? Green herb. Yep. We'll need that. Can't carry more items. Lovely. So, someone also tell, told, reminded me <laughs> what the safe combination was. I didn't actually get a chance to go back and look and double check it, but, uh, isn't it like two, three, five, five? No, okay. Well, I don't have any room to carry anything anyway, so we'll come back and get the stuff. It's not that big of a deal, come on. I think it's shotgun ammo that's in there, isn't it? Anyway, we don't have the room to carry anything right now, so... Go and use the valve handle. I think I'll leave it there for now. So we can, we can find it when we get back up there. And let's create a time paradox! Unless there's just, it just happens that there are two helicopters that crash into the police precinct, so Leon gets his share of extinguishing the... Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off! Get off! I don't want to deal with you birds because you are a pain in the ass to even try and target. I don't want to be standing there with a knife clenched between my teeth as I try to fight you off. Not being able to do it, obviously, because you won't come near enough that I can stab you through your beady little eyes. <laughs> and get pecked to death in the process. Alright, here we go. I wonder if we can pick up the submachine gun off of them. I hope not. I don't have any room to carry it. Oh. I guess we get the, uh, valve back anyway. The valve is wide open. Oh, so there must be another helicopter that comes down, crashes into the police precinct, and somehow... Somehow it just happens to jar... Well, there is something we can carry. Um, I'm gonna have to pick it up later. Unless... Oh! Oh, yeah, someone was saying that you can mix three green herbs as well, so there we go. What is this? What is this? Will you take the acid rounds? The heck are acid rounds? The helicopter is a complete wreck. Yes, I can see that. No wonder that guy's submachine gun was so effective if he was using acid rounds. Whoa, jeez, what? Oh, there is a second helicopter! <laughs> well, I mean, it's, uh, it's... Oh no, this is the same cutscene we saw earlier, isn't it? No? No, this is not a, the same cutscene. What the heck is that? Guys? What was that? Well, it looks like we can't go back now. <laughs> yeah, no, I can tell. Uh... the heck is that? The heck is that? I could hear it coming and I'm like, I'm not moving. That's crazy. Get the hell away from me, whatever you are. Jeez. 
Jesus. All right. Now quiet. Because there are liquors in here? Maybe there aren't any more. There were. And I was also told that if you're quiet, liquors won't attack you. Um... Yes? <laughs> What's going on? This isn't the Resident Evil 2 I remember. I don't want to run into tall, creepy, and gray. Not again. Jeez. He looks like, uh... What does he look like? Oh, uh, I know he looks like someone, I just can't put my, uh... Put my finger on it. Can't carry many more items. Oh, we need the key. Oh, we need the card key. Oh, I hate using the herbs. We need the card key, though. I mean... And there's really no other way to get rid of items. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know. I gotta get the two... Okay, so these guys apparently cannot hear me if I walk. I just need to avoid him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get away from me! Take that, you son of a bitch! Well... I, uh, come on. I tried my best. <laughs> I mean, I probably could have preemptively moved and gone around them, but... I wasn't sure if that would work or not. Oh, no, I wouldn't have. Because as soon as I came over, I think it was started making sounds, so that was probably the best course of action. Because... <sighs> Hell if I want to know... Hell if I wanted to do... Die and have to do all that again. Jeez, that guy is still... Oh, he reminds me of, um, Volgan from Metal Gear Solid 3. Just because, uh... Well, he's that... Large... Wait, what? There's no choice but to take out the wall. How am I supposed to do that, Claire? Really? How am I supposed to do that? <sighs> Crazy girl. With your biker outfit and your motorcycling and your shooting... things. You must think everything is... You must think that uh, TNT grows on trees or something. Or whatever you're going to use. Oh! Hey now. I guess I should have left stuff around. Secretary's Diary A. Uh. Oh, we already, we already learned. We already read this one. It was uh, the secretary talking about moving the statues and the large picture that the chief had and stuff like that. Aw oh, yeah, 69 bullets. <laughs> what am I, 8? These books look useful. This looks useful though. can finally store those acid rounds. Could we already hold 8 items or... I can't remember if we're... if uh, Leon's little upgrade allowed him to hold 10 or what. Yes, I will use that ink ribbon. Oh, yes, I will use that ink ribbon. All right, so let's see. That hallway that Mr. Mr. Tall Gray and Not Very Handsome came down. That leads around to the room with the liquors in it, which we can access right now. It also leads to the officer officers offices, <laughs> which we can access access from the bottom floor. So let's go out this way, because I'm pretty sure this leads to the second floor? Maybe? 
Or the first floor. Ah, second floor. Very nice. Alright. How long have I been going? Quite long enough, actually. Um, so I hear a zombie. I'm hoping it's a zombie. I'm hoping it's not a liquor. Because that would be pretty terrible. I heard someone going, Argh! So I'm pretty sure it's a zombie. That or it's again tall, gray, and scary. Ah, there's the zombie. Take care of this guy, and then I'll end the episode. How's it going? I got bullets to spare now. I didn't mean to shoot that last one, but have it anyway. There you go. Any bullets? No. But, you know what? Yeah, we're pushing that button, letting that emergency ladder down. I'm not crazy enough to not let that ladder down. Alright, so next episode, we'll return to the... Ooh, hello. You know, I could take you out, or I could just run around you. Next episode, we'll uh, unlock the doors on the first floor. See you guys next time. This has been Resident Evil. Let's blindly play Resident Evil 2. <laughs> With me, Oixfu. Take it easy, guys. I'm gonna kite you around some more. Alright, go, go down, yes. <laughs>